Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the film Air, directed by Batfleck, starring Batfleck as CEO of Nike, Phil Knight. So this film takes place in 1984, where we follow a gentleman by the name of Sonny Vaccaro, who's played by Matt Damon, a shoe salesman for Nike, who takes a pretty big gamble by banking Nike's entire sponsor budget, usually reserved for three basketball players on just one player, a then 18-year-old Michael Jordan. And this film basically showcases the maverick approach these brilliant minds that Nike had to secure the 18-year-old up-and-coming Jordan for, quite frankly, one of the most lucrative business deals in history, the Air Jordan. Now, the screenplay for this film was originally written by Alex Converi in 2021 under the title Air Jordan. It was reported in April 2022 that the script had been picked up at Amazon Studios with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon teaming to star in the film while Affleck would direct. Filming began in Los Angeles in June 6 of 2022. They were using the Ari Alexa 35 camera to film with and filming wrapped up in July of 2022. Now the interesting thing about this film is the character of Michael Jordan is portrayed in the film, though his face is not seen and has limited dialogue, but I'll touch more on that later. Although not directly involved with the film, Jordan did indeed meet with Affleck prior to the beginning of production and gave him his blessing and the casting of Viola Davis to play his mother was his idea. Now Jordan also requested that Howard White, vice president of Nike's Jordan brand, and his personal friend be included in the film who is portrayed by Chris Tucker. First and foremost, I adored this film. It was just the perfect tonic that I needed. It was refreshing not watching a comic book film or a bombastic action film. It was a breath of fresh air. The fact that I didn't have to rely on waiting for a mid credit and a post credit scene where Skippy McDippy shows up and then it cuts to black. Instead, we're dealing with real world problems with real people and it happens to be based on a true story. Affleck definitely brings his A game as the film's director and also playing CEO Phil Knight, a man who definitely loves being barefoot. But usually sometimes Affleck can be very Affleck in films, but it feels like he's really giving it his all in this one, along with the whole cast. I mean, you have a stellar cast. You've obviously got Affleck, you've got Matt Damon, we have Jason Bateman, we have Chris Tucker, we have Viola Davis, who is accompanied by her husband. The pair of them play Michael Jordan's parents in the film, which is great. You have that automatic chemistry. The two standouts in the film for me, definitely Chris Tucker. He wasn't like Affleck playing Chris Tucker. He was definitely trying something different. We also had a very cheeky cameo by Marlon Wayans, but it wasn't really a cameo. It was a damn good scene. It was a pivotal scene. It set up a lot of exposition and he was great. Marlon Wayans reminds me of Adam Sandler. When they feel like it, they can act the shit out of a movie. Jason Bateman, you can always rely on to turn in a captivating performance. And in this case, his portrayal of marketing head, Robert Stresser, was a good pairing to Matt Damon's Vaccaro. Hands down, this is some of the most beautiful production design and costuming I've seen for a period piece. Again, this film takes place in 1984. I was amazed and stunned looking at all the background props, pieces, every little details of the finest quality when it comes to this type of period piece being set in 1984. I commend the production designer, the, the crew for, for, for really giving it their all, especially when it came to the costuming as well. Nothing's in your face in terms of what people think sometimes the 80s is like with bright neon colors. In this case, drabs of like olive green and brown and just the that baby shit brown carpet it works so well in this film now i did mention at the beginning of this video that michael jordan is shown in this film but his full-on front face is never revealed he is played by another young actor and he only says about two lines of dialogue in this film i think that is a very bold but also genius move it's from the perspective of michael's parents trying to set up this business deal that is obviously going to take care of their son but they also want to look after other up and coming athletes. So essentially Michael's there because he's the star, but his parents do the talking, most notably his mother portrayed by Violet Davis. She is the businesswoman. She is the matriarch of the family. So overall guys, this film is perfect in my humble opinion. For those who need a little bit of a push to pursue something new, take that risk. If you get a good feeling, do it. Case in point, me starting this new channel. It's terrifying, but it feels right. Again, a good distraction, but also it's not a comic book film. It's nice to break up the monotony of what we've been getting lately. And I don't have a problem with comic book films, but also at the same time, it can get a little bit of the same thing. Wash, rinse, repeat. Whereas this, we have a real story with real people. Even if Affleck's wig is severely distracting. But you know what the fun thing is? Phil Knight, the original guy that Affleck is portraying, has the exact same hair. They look completely different. 
but the wig makers did a damn good job. It's just very distracting on Affleck's melon. So with that, I'm gonna be giving Air five distracting Affleck wigs out of five. It was refreshing, it moved me, it did exactly what it needed to do. It was damn good distraction and a damn good success story that happens to be based on a true story. Spoiler alert, they, they got the deal if you couldn't tell. So guys, with that being said, if you've seen Air, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts, love your guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.